Word to everyone but Rev. You know what it is. It is time for breaking character. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you Hello. for joining us tonight. Um, we are without our IT uh, Tony. Um, we were That's the reason it's week. going to be scuffed. Oh. It's going to be so it scuffed. And we are going to be out without him next week. So we hope for a, a pleasant return, a safe return. But until then, let's get on with what we had. What happened last time? Which uh, was... what? Yes. Did you yes, want to say, Rev? Shut up. I was going to say I was wondering why Tony's voice was so soft at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you so mean? so effeminate. Both, uh. both masculine. Yeah. Both. Same. Did no difference. It was no difference. Uh, same. Th same voice. Same voice. Shaven though, same, which is a, a bold same, choice yeah. for you, um, Tony. But you know, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Grew out, out the hair. Grew out the hair. It's less anymore, curly. So, um, the headband is different, but you know. Um, <laughs> Would you so like me to do the introduction, I'm... or would you like me to do the recap, um, dungeon master? Or do you, do you want, want to? to? Cause well, you, you seem to be volunteering. I am more than always willing to volunteer myself. Okay, how about this? Do it in Boston's voice as he's recapping what's what's going on the last crazy ass twenty four hours. Previously on Breaking Character. Uh <laughs> last time we went to our shenanigans, we uh, finally went to the tattoo parlor and were able to get our pieces. Uh, each of us getting a bit something something a bit different. Uh while we are there, we got a surprise of it from one of the grandchildren of uh tiny spitfire of a barbarian ramita a uh goliath of a man literally named madoc uh he said hello and joined uh the tattoo adventure and him uh ramita and nash all going to a family gathering and apparently some scrapping's gonna be happening also so that'll be interesting speaking of scrap uh but myself and uh, Rick were uh, in the car, and we decided to start planning a way to get his bounty taken away by start making uh, false bits of Baldrick so that we can uh, get some nasty business that nasty business done with. Um, afterwards, or while that was going on, uh, Fenrana was able to uh, co contact the sibling and d do something about getting a favor. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't give a fuck. Uh, when, literally uh, doing it for you. Mm. <laughs> Shh, I'm doing the intro. Go, why are you in this booth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, uh... Get along, finally. Come on. <laughs> we are now going to, uh, uh, get into the call that, uh, uh, Fenrana was going to be sent to. Uh, myself and Rick are escorting them as security, uh, to meet with this, uh, Con Esith very fancy kind of a snob and we're going to the auction house and then we stopped went to a secret elevator the place was ecstatic on SF uh, is my father that we're meeting Scarlet Scarlet gosh darn it my notes <laughs> um that's right Con SF Sorry, is buddy. your father he's 63 my... yeah and uh, we are now in a room waiting for them we are a little early to be extra punctual Boston, roll a will save. You told yes. <laughs> to see to see if uh uh you're sparky, buddy. To see if Fenrana's mm. uh forcible psycho psychic connection <laughs> has done any damage to you. <laughs> I mean, I rolled a natural nineteen plus one, so it's twenty total. A dirty right. twenty. Auto fail. No, oh. you, you were able to you were able to eject them at the last the last. <laughs> Interrupt. Oh, during the in what is this like? Are we doing a podcast? What's going on? Uh -huh. We're doing a meta. We're doing a meta thing. Yeah, we're, uh, we're meta. Uh, it's fine now. We're, we're, we're fine. Meta. Okay. So, gotcha, gotcha. Boston's yeah. been podcasting about his daily adventures. <laughs> We've got it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's a personal journal, you know. All, all <laughs> cowboys have one. Yeah. Um, just like a potted plant that they have to take care of, or a robotic animal. You know, the typical assassin stuff. Um, what about a robotic plant? Rev. <laughs> Darkness strangle him. Um, <laughs> it's a little too has, far right now, but I will in a minute. The, at the very least, give him an indie red, Indian red bun. Um, yeah, so. You guys show up into the downtown district of the Ithros capital. Uh, da, 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 where 
is very electric. There are sparking rays and arcs of open electricity go shooting all over the place. Some are constantly active in these giant arcs. Some are little z z z you know, here and there where they turn on and off and they they pulsate in a type of um, Morse code effect. You go into this building that happens to have a lot more insulation than the exposed atmosphere. Uh, you go up the elevator, the public elevator, and are escorted to a private elevator where the butler or the doorman Gerald uh, is able to enter in a passcode and able to get you up to the final 30th floor of this building. The downtown district of... I'll give it a name. Google the Lightning. Town. The Lightning District. It is the Lightning District. Oh my god, uh, this um, thing is fucking breaking. One sex stream is breaking on me. Oh no. Why is it moving? Oh, it is. It's why just is she like sliding? Wholesale moving. Why is she sliding? Why is she sliding? <laughs> What? We're moving left to pull. <laughs> Revved at a posture. Okay. That was like an hour ago. What was? What is? Yeah. What just happened? Is it good? I don't... We're moving. We moved for like a hot second. Is is it fine? All right, get it back into position. There we go. We're good. We're good. It's um... all fixed. <laughs> Don't mind that. Um, it's doing it again. God fucking damn it! Why? It, is your cursor on that specific spot where the the um? That it's is? not. I'm not even clicked onto it right now. Doing the electric slide. We're just we're just scooting. Listen, listen. For anyone who's ever been into one of my streams, you know this is par for the fucking course. Listen. That's true. Except there's not any fire on the screen. We're just sneaking out of the stream. <laughs> Uh, it's like the we're comical just hook that comes out from Rod's behind. <laughs> Let me off, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> Tap dance out of here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um. Okay, so you are it currently in the Lightning District. Um, it is a district mostly of businesses. Um, and you are headed up to the top floor, the thirtieth floor after uh, leaving the elevator, which had double doors. You had a first front door that you went into, and as the doorman turns around and faces the uh, back of the wall, it has the exact same knobs and, and buttons and screens, and the two doors that open, par uh, that parse open, revealing an entry foyer uh, for you to show up and make yourself known. Gerald tips his hat, says good luck, walks back and steps back into the elevator. The doors slide behind you, and you are there in this quiet little atmosphere. It is a, a round, semi-round, dome-like area. Um, the wall is of a black slate marble go going from one side um, of where the elevator left you in to the other side. And then the floor is coated with white, is a, a white coating, uh, polished. And then in front of you is a pair of double sided, or not double sided, French um, doors that are um, all solid with some lighting coming down from above. And then a screen off to the side, off to the left, with a, a notepad, numbers and letters, and retina screen, fingerprint screen, that sort of thing. Yours is the wind howling outside. <laughs> or... I... I think that was a joke. Oh. Okay. Sorry. It's just the name I had to. <laughs> um, um, he's going to. Uh, Boston's gonna, uh, in his armor, send a message to uh, Fenrana um, and Baldrick and say, Fenrana, you are, you are the boss right now. Uh, you call me either by Jones. You, you call me by Jones, and you call Baldrick just the automaton, or just whatever you want to do. Just 
do not make it seem like we have any sort of relationship other than professional or business. I'm not going to say a damn word the entire time unless you give me permission to speak or you tell me to engage, which will mean one of two things. I'm pulling out my shotgun. He's going to tap on his sawed off foot's in a holster or I'm going to sock a son of a bitch. Noted. All right. Um, and that's blank Helmus here, by the way, as he's wearing yeah, his yeah. full power armor right now. Sorry for boring you. <laughs> no, sorry. I. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess Fen is just going to. So basically, we're in a room. We're waiting for somebody to come in to meet us. Correct. Um, you are there um, to make yourself known. Um, it is much like coming up to the front door. You can knock on the door. You have okay, options. Okay, okay. Um, there is a screen that can do identifying uh, marks. It is. Um, just quiet at the moment. Um, uh, have... In that case, I'm going to go try and interact with the screen and see if maybe it's just to know who's supposed to be there. Okay. Or if it seems more of like a lock sort of thing. All right. Um, your What is your passive perception? It is a 19? My passive is off the fucking end. Uh, perception 19, yes. Okay. Um, that is, uh, you're able to look at it. It is a regular, uh, comm. It is, um, the information there is available for anybody who were to come up, um, to make themselves known or to allow the, uh, owner in, um, such as a hand scanner, a face retinal yeah. scanner, and then a screen for, you know, prompt to say, uh, see who is coming in with the, the active camera in your face. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then in that case, I'll say into it, uh, Fenrana Etzeth for Scarlet Dubomar? Dubomar, right? Yes. Um, the lights, the screen lights up. All of the, the letters light up in, uh, response to your, um, to your voice activation. After a few moments, on the screen, you see a, the image of an woman with her hair put up in a bun behind her head uh, ears first to the back although they are long and rather uh, pointy and she is wearing a up to the neck um, collared shirt with lace up the t up to her chin and it is uh, the white is coming out from underneath the collar and then there is a uh, rather pinkish uh, sort of m we'll just say it's pink I'm trying to come up with another color it's like a, a fuchsia magenta mix okay um, of, very bright of very colors bright that are yep yeah, um, that kind of taper off to sharp uh, shoulders and then there are um, there's more lace of a white and lighter pink sleeves going down um, she is wearing um, glasses. She seems to be rather elderly, but she's not, um, she would be in her late 40s human, but she is, um, has given off much older, um, looks. Um, her chin is sharp to the point, to the nose. I... One, one second. Yeah, Years. we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this is, Nikki should not be in control of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're being tested. We're, we're just gonna have to- we're just gonna run with the flow. Um, I mean, go with the flow, not run, but you know. Because Scuff Blade, just fucking go with it, man. <laughs> uh, Blade, stop bully- Blade, stop bullying blood. I, I know typically Blade comes and then blood, but you know, like... The blood comes first, then the blade. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Anywho... She has freckles on her cheeks, her high cheekbones, and she has dark uh, auburn red hair. And some gray streaks going through. And she looks at you with her uh, wrinkles and says, Ah, yes, Fenrana. Oron uh, spoke of your arrival. 
You're on time. Thank you. Of course. Uh, a meeting ought, ought to be it begin on time. Um, should we come in or wait for you here? Oh, no need to. Um, I will let you in. And you hear this air release. The door is kind of open up interiorly mm -hmm. into the uh, room. Just, I will be there in just a few, please. Um, there are uh, seating and um, a few doors. Make yourself at home. Appreciated. And Finn's just gonna go in. The screen goes blank as you enter. Um, as you go into this uh, interior, you are greeted by a much brighter interior. The area is that of a large entertaining room. There is a what is considered a grand piano off to the side, a harp um, laced in rose gold. There is um, carpets along. There's a grandeur of uh, Apostries. marble. Yeah, marble flooring, uh, mixed different colors: some white, some gray, some um, pinkish, and and strikes of red. There are elongated rugs here and there, all in uh, various different of shapes, tapestries. Um, there is. Ooh. The um, walls and ceilings are plastered in a light rosé uh, color, depicting of a multitude of birds, flamingos, swans, some butterflies, um, mm -hmm. petals coming off of uh, trees in the springtime from their blooming and wisping in the wind as the, they kind of dance around the room. Highlighted in a rose gold as well. Um, there are reading nooks with uh, bookshelves and, and uh, shelving uh, decorated in cherry wood, coral curtains draped 16 foot uh, ceilings, and um, there are chaise lounge chairs uh, adorned in. Uh, fuchsia colored tapestries or, or upholstery. Um, there is a predominant theme in this area of room. Mm -hmm. There are, um, with the uh, grand piano and the harp and the chairs and the reading nooks, there are also uh, oil paintings. These paintings are not quite so pink, um, but they do look original. There is the occasional hum of the machinery and the crackling of the electrical arts uh, arcs outside, um, as they can be heard through the windows. There are large windows, um, about six, eight foot tall. The ceiling occasionally has um, a chandelier here or two. Some are three tiered, some are single, uh, with uh, rare crystals, others that are glass or tinted pink. All kinds of um, artifacts in the area, as well as a few sentinels standing in the corners. Uh, large stone or mechanical um, representations of, of either current or arcane uh, works of machinery. And there are Two hallways to the immediate uh, left and right of you, and then there are a couple more hallways in the further back, and in the farthest end there is a slight stage with several um, rows of chairs. Same cherry wood, same fuchsia pink upholstery, and a um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> the podium. <laughs> Where's podium. the snack bar? <laughs> where's the snacks? No. Where's the, the snack? Where's the nacho dispenser? Where's the golden? Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> so as you walk in, uh, within the immediate uh, vicinity, where next to the reading nooks and the chaise lounge, there is a uh, table off to the right that has um, several 
small uh, amounts of snacks, deviled eggs, um, some caviar, chips and dip, hmm. spinach dip, that sort of thing. The expansive stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Fen will, I guess, go up to one of the seats with at least two behind it uh, if they if that's possibility or two like close to it and sit in the middle okay uh, yeah there Austin, are the rows of chairs next to you oh are you gonna go up to the where the podium is yeah close to where the podium is that way okay um Boston's gonna stay as close as he can, but have his back to a wall, so there's no surprise, um, <laughs> you know. No surprises. Okay. Surprises are fun. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, Rick, where do you, uh, decide to move into the, the facility? Uh, I'll probably just hover behind Fat. Okay. Uh, and her clarity's sake for the audience uh, I mean hover figuratively that is not a power that I have aww I thought I had a flying robot friend <laughs> the certain god one is even are you T-posing to posing to go along with it <laughs> just like straight food. Gary's mod mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you can hear a light uh, orchestra being played and the surrounding area it's kind of all over the place not in any one particular location as you walk in it's um of like a string quartet but the uh, melody seems to keep in time with the pulsating rhythm of the um electrical currents outside mm -hmm. um it's an interesting uh integration of both the exterior and uh, electrical interferences, but also uh, things that are not of the electrical sort, but more of an organic, um, and and a blend of the two, a blend of the mix. Um, the lighting that comes in through the window that bounces off the crystals and the lights um, has its own little jittery movements. Um, although they are shown in, in rainbow colors, they seem to reflect that of, of, um, bioluminescence. Kind of similar to where you're from, um, okay. done with inner wall, um, LEDs, but this is a low-tech form of using the actual natural workings of the environment to integrate with the surrounding area. Okay, okay. Um... Are, with your perception with a 19, you would automatically be able to see all of the pa uh, tapestries and the oil paintings. Would you- are you interested in that, or...? Um... Currently, no, just because Fen okay. is trying to keep themselves focused on... This bullshit okay. right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you the other players want to, uh... In Investigate. Nope. Um, you know I would I'll see what Rick would know for that. Okay, make a roll for investigation. Okay, that's gonna be. Uh, yeah. There we go. Sorry, it's rolling slowly. Slowly rolling. That's a wow, rolling. a sixteen. Nifty. Okay, with plus zero. <laughs> Interesting enough. Oof, oof. Uh the 16 was just enough. <laughs> um for uh your investigation and which could also be um yeah. So the paintings as you can see are mostly oil, some of them watercolor. Um they depict a lot of historical events. Um one of the most pronounced and and most regarded is the um, Divine Requiem, which is considered to be the beginning of the 250 year peace treaty um, that you are currently within. Um, the 250th year being celebrated next year, 
of which you are currently in the spring towards summer-ish. Um, so eh, within eight months you'll be uh, celebrating that uh, faithful event, as well as some other historical and possibly mythological events as well. Do I get any um, comprehension as to like age of the artwork? Um, that would be a historical or arcane investigation or or role. I'll go for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm good at one of them. <laughs> I'm good at one of them. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> plus three. A what? Plus three? A three plus three. Mm. Oof. Nope. No clue. They could have been made yesterday. 3D printed. <laughs> um, they were probably made yesterday. That sounds about right, right? Yeah. In an auction house of this magnitude with this much rose gold. And, yeah, and the... Um, I love the part of them off the internet. The fact that it's, you know, an antique house. Auction house. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how it works with Orbella Road, you know? It's all fake. Uh, but, yeah, so, um, but the, the historical, uh, historical events that they depict are very well known. Um, you, with your education and your, your background, as well as, um, Fenramas would know exactly what all these are for, or of. Um, a few minutes after sitting and waiting, um, Charlotte comes in. Pardon me for wait, uh, for the, the delay. I um, had to tidy up a few things of a uh, previous meeting. Um, please, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And she comes up to you and she grabs your hands um, to kind of just hold them in a, a like, still shake, as mm -hmm. that were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the sort of, like, mm. Thing. Yes, you just come up and grasp both of your hands in, in her hands and, and just like looks you in the eyes. Thank you so much for coming. The pleasure's all mine after Arwen gave me your your name. How could I possibly refuse? Arwen, yes, he is such a wonderful man. He is um how is he doing? Well, um still back in Aurora and still at the university, but Mm. Still doing the same things. I see. Ah, that man never changes. Although one would think that he had after for so long. Um. Uh, stubborn. Anywho, um, welcome, welcome to the area. Would you like a tour? A tour would be lovely, actually. Okay. Um. So she gets up and she walks you around. And she starts mm -hmm. telling you. A little bit about the area, a little bit of this is the main room, this is the main hall, this is where all the auctions happen, and this is uh, where we cater all our guests, or, or mine specifically. Um, I am an enterprise uh, sole, sole proprietor, and um, I think I've done well for myself, don't you think? It's uh, quite a feat. I have, I'm so proud of this. Um, you do have quite a place here, and your connections are rather renowned oh they should be i mean this is uh my living my livelihood everything i've ever wanted and it is my child <laughs> um i should go on to, to tell you let's see where to put uh the name of it is the arcanist's emporium um she has been uh the owner of this company for the last 50 years um, started off from scratch, uh, found some small little trinkets in some little pawn shops and started trading her way up, um, and even indulges a little bit of her past history with Oren, um, of which she had worked with, um, a few, had a few contracts with the university to, um, help divulge or, or do some excavations of some artifacts and some, uh, far off places and um, was hoping to continue with those contracts until Oren decided to um, cancel on them or finish out their partnership. Um, she has been trying to um, hopefully renew some of the contracts with the university um, and hopes that you will put a good word in for her. Um, Baldrick. Baldrick. 
You are yeah. in uh, disguise, correct? Um, I know we had talked about him being in disguise, but we did not discuss a, a robot disguise. Did you uh, disguise yourself prior to... I, I want to recall, did you re disguise yourself I, in the car on the way there? I do not recall uh, saying that I did, so I'm going to lean on that we did not. Okay. Um... If Brett would like to disprove me. Yeah, Brett, anybody discussed, else? Okay. I think we discussed, we discussed right disguise. as you got there. We did not actually put a disguise on for him. Because okay. okay. what we're going to do is make him look ugly. I, Brett slash, slash actually just Brett, didn't think <laughs> it makes sense for him to look rusty and like awful before going to meet someone who would literally probably say, Brett, we don't accept our kind ugly here. and dirty and... It's just because you're naturally handsome. That's like just what we're trying to... <laughs> We're going to cover um, you in rust and cat piss. What do you mean, Rick? <laughs> the, or the the parts I ordered are all, like, new, clean parts. They're just completely different parts. <laughs> no one no one told them, did we? They had. They have two completely different ideas, and we uh -huh. have, they have not communicated, so that's, that's going to be fun. Which is funny, um, because Fen knows... The one side, the Baldric side, knowing like the parts, <laughs> but <laughs> um, during this um, tour, she stops at one of her statues and pauses. Uh, I want everyone to roll a perception. Does this fucking thing look like Baldric? <laughs> <sighs> Oh, Perception. Ooh. I'm good at that too. Natural twenty. Loading, loading, loading. Whoa. Perception. Perception. 21. I don't want to play with percent. I have a plus four. Fuck it. I don't have any real dice on me, so I have to wait That's for the computer to be. That's a fourteen. Fun. You can use my bad one. My total is, is twenty-one. A, is that a fourteen total? Fourteen Did you total. Just say seventy-one. 21. <laughs> yes, I Just rolled a 71. Just casually rolled a 50. It's fine. <laughs> You're not that high of a bard yet. A lot of fire. Red. Has uh, your, I, has yeah, your dice loaded yet? <laughs> yeah, I said it was 21. Oh, okay. 21 total. Fen is panicking yep. and trying to pay as much attention to this lady rather than anything going on around them. For natural... <laughs> what was your natural? Mine was... Uh, a... it was... Sorry, yeah. No, oh, Rev. Oh, mine was uh, just uh, 18. Okay, so not a natural 20. Okay. Correct. I had the natural 20 plus one, so it's also 21. <laughs> oh, I heard that. I just wanted to see how many natural 20s we had. Um, so, Brett, uh, as soon as uh, Charlotte uh, walks up to a statue that she seemed to have um, decided to maybe talk about, um, you notice a spitting rendition of Baldric. There, <laughs> there are differences um, in the make and model as there would be per, um, you know, owners. So if somebody bought something stock versus somebody bought something custom, mm -hmm. um, this is a very stock uh, mm -hmm. rendition. Baldric is so much more custom. Right, and also he doesn't have a jaw now, which is helpful. Baldric has a jaw, yes. Um, Baldric is also a lot thinner, a lot more life um, for fencing, but also for uh, multitasking. This one seems to have maybe one or two jobs that it might have been designed for. And um, Baldric, you would also know this to be something uh, along the lines of the same serial uh, number design of yourself. Um, you may have encountered either this one or something similar to it in your um, works of having to deal with other families with other models I like have yourself. In previous Q and A, has mentioned that Rick has like a thousand siblings. A thousand what? Siblings. Something like that, yeah. 
<laughs> many siblings, so many. It's they're fine. all the same, um, not the same barcode, but they're the there's the one hyphen and dash. Y'all are that's all the part mm -hmm, of the same family. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the model Basically. number. Mm -hmm. Model number, yeah. All the same edition. Um, and you'll notice that it is also, um, to the, you know, it's clean, but it is also old. It is not um maintained. It was probably retired rather early on. And she looks and goes, See, this model is quite more uh, diligent than I originally thought. <laughs> does does Fen notice the, the, the similarities at this point? Oh, after it's pointed out, yes. Um, the, the other two noticed right away until cool. Charlotte said something. You had no clue. Yep, nope, was looking at her rather than the, uh, the thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um, as soon as she points it out and steps next to, and she even takes a step towards Baldrick and looks at him, um, looking at the details, looking at the sides, and you have a few interesting additional features added to this one. Most of them are you. inherited. Uh, he's sort of a hand-me-down. Yes, most of them are. Um, How much would you, uh, trade for this one, if I were to make an offer? Unfortunately, I can't, uh, trade him away. He is rather integral to my work as a Lumen. Interesting. Our runs seems to have changed up some of his style. Um, this is not, uh, Arwen's, uh, speciality. My source of study veered more towards tech and magic, and this one here um, seemed to be a perfect way to figure out connections that way. As... Uh, real quick on that, like it's going to press to digitate something. Do that! <laughs> By the way, when she got close to the... Boston, he he Boston put his hand like on his like shotgun if they got too close, just like a hmm, that's not your property, ma'am. <laughs> I wouldn't get oh, closer. She's, she's uh, respectfully close, but she's also very investigating. It, like mm -hmm. eyes are, are think, in scrutiny. Think like Aragon when Boromir had the ring in his hand for a second. He's like, go ahead, take oh, another step and see what happens. That's the vibe. That much tension, yes. <laughs> He's just like uh, out of gut reaction and a low int uh, check there. Baldrick is going to use press digitation to summon a police badge. <laughs> oh my god! I need you to do. Oh god! I can't do. Not claiming of hand to be police, that. just like showing magic. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So it's actual show. It's not. He's doing show and tell. Not... He's yeah. doing show okay. and tell. It's fine. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, so a badge appears where? Uh, just in his hand. And he's she's looking at his face. She's look in scrutinizing the 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 little seams on his face and the little jaw, you know, parts breaks in the in the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. joints. Um, do you show her? Uh, I, I feel like I raised my hand to draw attention to it. Okay. Because okay. I'm just I sort of the he's perfect for this research. Okay. I'm so glad Baldrick knows magic. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she looks at it. Um, interesting. What else does he do? Uh, he has a fair few uh, tricks up his sleeve, mostly defensive at this point. Therefore, I don't feel the most comfortable uh, demonstrating within such a confined space. Also, with so many breakable things. Yes, most of these are all defensible, um, she points out. And you'll see uh, six individual sentinels of different varying heights, size, widths. And material. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, are you saying sentinels like the X-Men, like giant killer robots that were meant to specifically hunt down mutant sentinels? Or yes. are these... to, to a degree, that is how they look. 
So, how big are these, though, comparatively? Because sentinels are like 40 feet tall, canonically. Or <laughs> These are a little Almost smaller, right? So the one, um, so there's the robot that looks like Baldrick that is standing next to you. Right. Um, in this uh, hallway, there are at least, there are five others, and uh, they are varying heights all the way up to the 16, 20 foot ceiling. Some look like they, they needed help getting inside. Hmm. Um, there is one that is made of iron, one that is made of stone, one that is looks like it might be a, a cross between stone and steel. Um, various others as well. One that might be a little bit of a clay mm -hmm. material. So terracotta, yeah. As well as he's uh, rather good for maintaining my notes, as I am notoriously bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. That is, uh, that is amazing. Um, you know, I've been looking for a very particular one. Um, one that was supposedly released recently. Why they wouldn't get rid of it I is beyond me, but... Um, I have uh, put out a rather pretty ransom uh, for it. Um, if it becomes available, please let me know. You um, will be the first to call. Appreciated. And she looks at Baldrick one more time before she pulls away. No. So, no. Alren tells me you need help getting to boil this. Hall. Right. Right. <laughs> sorry, I got my own tells you wrong. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> lying to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't give him enough. Uh, you didn't give him enough chocolates for Christmas, and now he's offended. So he's lying to you now. <laughs> you need to read your pre-meeting notes and know what you're talking about in here. Look, I'm the only I'm person that reads pre the notes. I have a whole fucking world in my head, alright? I'm allowed <laughs> no, to stick it Not your ears. <laughs> oh, you mean Scarlet specifically needs to read yeah. sure their notes? Yeah. Scarlet? Ah, of course. Scarlet, that also, specific subsection of Gears' head. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, Ren says you need help getting into Lolhol. Um... Yes. Any particular reason? What are the difficulties of getting in? Are you looking for residency or? No, I am rather looking for a select group. Whom. Hmm. Putting it simply. Have made themselves an enemy of many, many people. Well, that's the location they would want to go if they wanted to be uh, protected and. Um, a threat. Indeed. That's uh, what we've learned. Hmm. Well, the best way to get rid of something like that is to make sure they impale themselves on their own spikes. So you'll need quite a few uh, connections out there. <laughs> that was what I was hoping to discuss with you. Hmm. <clears throat> Yes. That's, um, unfortunately, a lot more, um, help than I can give. I can start you off in that area, but, um, after that, uh, you're on your own. I find I can be rather persuasive as long as I have somewhere to stand. Okay. Well, in that case, let me see. And she pulls out her um, a necklace that was um, so in her 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 outfit mm -hmm. of which is basically a long post-Victorian dress of pink and fuchsia and white. Um, I love linen this lady, by and... the way. <laughs> um. And, and if you were to pay attention as she was approaching, um, you might see some Barbie pink shoes poking out from underneath her dress. Um, 
she pulls out a a what would be a heart shaped um oh what do you call it the necklace piece locket? that has that's what i'm talking about yes locket um she opens it up um pulls up between the the buttons and opens it up and then it projects out um information is this where she keeps her sim chip and she starts looking through a directory of people um and it takes a moment anything you guys want to do talk to each other message uh telepathically say while she's doing this then is Ooh, immediately connecting earlier would have been useful what is it, oh yeah, establishing a telepathic link early would have been useful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is immediately uh, linking with Baldrix uh, through their uh, ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to find. There it is. Yeah, it, I don't have to do anything for it. I just have to uh... blink. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, I will it so, and th therefore it is um, immediately in Baldrick's uh, mind. Um, stick close to Boston. Do not wander off here. Uh, that does seem the most pertinent idea, yes. If you both look to Bo Boston, he still has his hand on the, the handle of his, of his shotgun that he's ready to just quick draw and fire. <laughs> and really quickly, do you... Would your former family have connections with this one? Um... Likely, yes, though I I don't know personally, so it would not have been any close business uh, uh, recently, at least. She said she put a bounty out on you. Potentially. You were recently released, oh, correct? Uh, I wouldn't say released. I was recently allowed to escape. We need to look further into... We need to look further into the backgrounds of that if there is indeed somebody else who was released within your your model number that is a good idea that could be a very very useful disguise ah uh, yes here we are <laughs> No, I wasn't talking to anybody. What? No. She uh, comes up with a name and then comes up with a profile. When she clicks on the image in the air, it comes, or the name, it comes up with Gregory Jose Thacker, Ambassador of Lil Hall and President to, uh, and Assistant to President um, of the uh, Lil Hall. Hang on. What's his name? One more time. Gregory Jose Greg? Thacker. T-H-A-C-K-E-R Thicker than a snicker <laughs> uh, Got it? Uh, vice President of Wohol? Ambassador uh, of Assistant Wohol. to the Vice President or something like that Assistant to the Vice President, yes <laughs> Assistant to the Regional Manager <laughs> So yes, Ambassador of Lowell Hall, um, and as the description uh, would indicate that they are uh, in charge of a lot of the, the imports, exports, and dealings with um, uh, the, 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 the rotations of, of power. Uh, considering that your current, uh, the recurrent rotation is for loyalists. Uh, the ambassador is currently located in their home city state of Lulhol. Okay. So you would have to 
contact them uh, prior to showing Getting up. to them. Mm -hmm. Or get or yep yeah, or upon being there. This is the closest I can um, no. help you into um, into the state and uh, any connections you may need. Um, he is the most lenient and perhaps the most well liked, though for Lowell, that's saying something. <laughs> I do know their mm -hmm. reputation, unfortunately. Even the most well liked is the most well hated anywhere else. Um, please proceed with caution. But um, I can tell you, he does have a tendency to enjoy um, chocolates and a little bit of uh, historical music. So if you have any information um, regarding that, he has had a um, pension to collect a few antiques in the uh, in the music uh, especially anything r predating um, the uh... Spotify <laughs> oh my god the next three minutes are ad free thanks to our following <laughs> sponsor uh... don't say that you're gonna get people's hopes up Right when I'm trying to recall minute, information. Minute no. <laughs> uh, God, what was it? The... Yep. yep. Lost it. It's gone. Is that um, is it the in-world, like, CD or it's record? It's the in-world. It's the 250-year piece. Um, Anything predating that. Okay, he likes, okay, okay. Oh, he yeah, likes... Yeah. Pre-peace, but during the war times. He... Um, what is current? What you're currently going through, and I know I said it earlier. Fuck. Anyways, yes. So he's interested in in musical items prior to that. Yes. Uh, the age of religion. The uh, divine relic. 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 Relicrium. I will kill you all. Relicrium. <laughs> yes. Requiem. I, no. I, I I can't say it, and I I chose it. Sorry, I I did it to myself. Um, yes, the divine requiem. Oh, requiem. Okay. Yes, the divine requiem. You know, um, which is what you're currently in, and um, or it's what it's been called over mm -hmm. the last fifty or so years, um, because it's been so peaceful compared to any other era of the history, um, that you all in the world you all been. Um, and peace, of course, has been quote unquote relative. <laughs> so, magical items or musical items prior to that is his biggest interest, and that is the times where he has been um, in her auction house um, the most. Okay. Would so, Fen. Um, Sorry. Can I... Would Fen then know any uh, instruments off the top just from their their classical like their training within being a bard uh, roll a history or history or arcane I'll do both I'm gonna go history because that's plus five oh that was a shit roll Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not standing with that one. I'm gonna inspiration mark off one of my inspiration. I'm not fucking no. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> fucking no. I hate the fucking no. Real dice because my digital dice fucking hate me. Ah, nope. That's cocked. I wish you could change the shape, the size of the digital dice. Honestly. I feel like they would bounce better. And Farona's down to five inspirations. That's considerably better. Seventeen. Okay. Um. Yes, your um studies would include several um instruments of note. Um. Specifically, um. Two that come off the top of your head. 
the infamous Celestial Liar. Or C Celestial Lie? How do you spell How do you pronounce that? Liar? Liar. 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 It's liar. liar. That's what Ben plays, <laughs> is the liar. Okay. Uh, the Celestial Liar. Um... It gives off positive prophecies to the player. Um, the person who plays the uh, instrument can give off, um, you know, fortunes to others in the form of storytelling, song, uh, usually song, um, mm -hmm. is is widely looked for because it, um, you know, it's, who doesn't it's want that tells the future? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't want their future told in a beautiful song? Um, you know, whether it's a beautiful romantic ballad or whatever. Um, yeah, and then we've got the <laughs> absolutely rocking. <laughs> um, and then we have, and then there's the dwarf hammer of um, rhythm and roll. Hmm. And it has been um, known for being very um, productive. Um, for dwarves who dig in mines, it, it helps keep rhythm, helps keep pace, and keeps everyone um, moving along and makes time, you know, makes it fun to work and, and shoveling the mines. Um, those are two of the most recent that you can recall of studying, and, um, but there are a plethora of others that you would, your character would know of. Mm -hmm. None of which easy to get a hold of. Oh, absolutely not. These are, are far, far too old to... Um, some even say that they've been destroyed. So getting him an actual piece of history is probably less likely. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Or, or some would just require some extra digging. Yeah. Okay. But these are instruments that are, are they have a, a more accurate history, so they're more likely to be found than any of the other ones that are obscured. And if you could find it, or at least maybe even have some information on how to find them. Yeah. Um, it might play it in might... my favor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool beans. At least I know where to start looking for that. Mm -hmm. Also chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> a little easier to do with me, thinks. <laughs> the most expensive you could probably find. <laughs> You'd actually be surprised. Sometimes those really rich, boozy people are sick and tired of the really fancy chocolate and appreciate, like, that random chocolate that you find, like, in the middle of a back alley. I've, I've seen that work before in actual, like, business meetings with my dad when he worked in the finance world. You know, this little chocolate <laughs> shop in the middle of Boston that was, like, run down and probably didn't match any codes. There's chocolate in the middle of Boston? Well, I'd wow. like to uh, circle back on my earlier point of Rick would like to stab Boston <laughs> in the chest. Um, <laughs> just so immediately stabbing him. Just the, the magma chocolate just pour out. <laughs> His chocolate filled center. Open? Because the set of the electricity, it was boiling now. This is just a release. <laughs> um, so with that information, he says, that's, that's the best I can help with anymore. And um, I would have to request a favor from you. I uh, unfortunately do not do things for free. Understandable. <laughs> Very few do. Mm. I like my favors, but I do like money better. And I have owed Oren uh, for quite some time, and this is a payment in one of the former ones that we've had, and I am thankfully paid in full. Just a, another quick question. Yes. 
You said that there was another automaton that you had been eyeing. Where the hell were they from? Maybe I could put, uh, put my feelers out on that for the help you've given. Hmm. Roll a persuasion. I can do that one. That one's great. <laughs> With advantage because I'm so pretty? No. I can't give you guidance without letting her know that I also cast magic, otherwise I'd yeah. give you a guidance. No, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, good. I have a plus nine to persuasion, dude. Don't don't jinx it. You're about Why to jinx is your it. Why persuasion so bad? <laughs> it's terrible. It's horrible, really. Uh, let's go with this dice. What is nine? 28. Okay. Um, <laughs> I rolled a 19. I was like, what is 9 plus 9? 18. Physically <laughs> coughed. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> um, she looks at you with a smile. Well, technically, um, I suppose I could tell you. That's fine. Uh, Yes, so you can tell me anything. Robot... I am very, very trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! Ben and I should do the talking more often. Really, really, they should. <laughs> <laughs> well, purchasing a robot from a previous owner is long and lengthy and requires so much paperwork and negotiating. Um, and it's worse when they just up and refuse. Um... <laughs> This robot uh, belongs to a very high and prestigious family, and they, for some reason, didn't want it anymore. I offered to buy it from them, and they refused, uh, rightfully so. Uh, pieces of uh, walking encyclopedias like that are rather dangerous to um, people of money. But when I heard that it had been sent to a junkyard, I sent a few mercenaries to in, uh, in, to in, um, I'm kind of forgetting the word, um, intercept. That's the word. To intercept. And, uh, unfortunately failed, but, um, I don't know, there are other ways of getting hold of something that moves seems to be rather difficult and ironic for a service bot. Uh, they usually do as they're told. <laughs> do you know perchance what this automaton was called? Hmm, not specifically, but I know it belonged to the uh, infamous Astora family. <gasps> They seem to be getting rid of everything. Their company, their business, their automatons, anything. And I think they they are going broke, which is some juicy gossip. Um, aside from that, um, there is more that um, I would like to know besides the means of the ruin of the family. But, um, you know. They usually keep such matters very tight-lipped. Oh, they do. Everyone does. It's uh, quite impossible, almost, <laughs> to get that kind of information unless you know a well-known hacker. And um, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't like to deal with those lowlifes. Uh, I would rather have the information directly in my hand on a silver platter, or <laughs> a silver robot, as it were. <laughs> Quite. Well, it's a. It used to belong to a Stoa family. That shouldn't be too hard to dig into. You would think. But, um, I've checked in with the, um, disassemblage, uh, company, and they have not received it. They have not <laughs> processed, <laughs> and they are. <laughs> Sorry, God. <laughs> 
Aldrich's like, they nope. are, um, <laughs> uh, being quite uh, distant as to whether or not they wish to turn it over once they do have it. Um, I've... Anywho. Um, so, yes, if you can find this automaton, it is the same make and model, or make of what you have, and of this one here. I unfortunately never encountered the family directly. Um, it is... Of course, something that they keep on the premise, and I've cool. never visited them, and it's never been my interest to deal with modern technologies. I prefer the ancient um, <laughs> arcane and artifacts. They provide a much more luxury, uh, elite um, income. With uh, misconceptions? Remember, uh, we did hear the news of the uh of that one side of a wanted android uh in uh, the bar uh, in that side of town that i uh rev did not remember if the public absolutely would remember where he was oh, happened. orphanage the orphanage how can you forget that um do you tell that to, do you say that to boston or do you just say that to ben Rana? Um, like we get to, to Fen. He's my in. In, in such ways, telepathically like, or just out loud. Out loud. I no, out loud. Just, like, he's he's I'm, trying I'm to. I, I get what you're trying to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so uh, roll a deception check or a deception performance. Uh, I'd rather it be deception. <laughs> okay. Deception is better. <laughs> we some lying motherfuckers. <laughs> he's putting on his fake mustache and mustache. Where does D come in the alphabet? Where does D, um, um... It's a four? It's a four. Wait, what? Uh, that's a five on the die, which is a total of 14. Why don't you use one of your, uh, I'm inspirations? I'm one of my inspirations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a reminder, you only actually you only have two left. Oh. To be fair, aren't you leading that's okay. it now? That's 19. Oh. Okay, so the second roll was a what with a... Uh, 19 total. Okay. All right. She looks at uh, the robot after uh, she he speaks. Really? And uh, you know this how? Well, uh, my associate, uh, kind of leaning towards uh, Boston, is uh, rather connected to the underground due to bodyguards' reasonings. Not underground. Uh, uh, the see. the cowboy cowboy circles and low well, nod. I see. I find it best back. to keep um keep focus on those circles as they can very quickly become your ruin in a new turn. He looks at you with a new form of of awareness and. Um, perhaps judgmental um I see um well, well. Hmm. that information is good to know um I'll see about getting into uh with my connections and directing them in the new path um Interesting. Okay. Well, I uh, appreciate this information. Um, if there is anything else, um, perhaps um, our business here is done. I think we are good. Uh, thank you again for your contact. Yes. Um... I'll let, I'll let him know that you're, um, interested. And she walks off. Mm-hmm. You hear her, the heels clicking down the hallway. Insight check really quickly on what she plans on doing with the information Reb just gave her. Or Baldrick just gave her. Okay. 
throat. If I can try, try and get like whether or not she believes it or if she's more suspicious of us sort of thing. There's no way that could possibly have gone poorly. Oh no, totally what not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Love you, but um Uh, 14. <laughs> not great, but it's not Blade. horrible. At best, you can get she's not interested in um, associating with cowboys. Okay. So she probably doesn't know about the bounty on Baldrick's head. Other than the one that she played. Other than the one that she placed. Mm -hmm. Which is running in a completely different circle. But her um, attitude dis uh, distinctly changed when you mentioned um, or, or noted over towards uh, Brett's presence and um, mm -hmm. his, his circle. Yeah. So the, the cowboy <laughs> mention is definitely what caused her to um, pull Shut back. Down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Fuck off, bitch. Anyway. Um. <laughs> You'll never find a wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> we must be cautious. You never mm. mentioned you were working with the law. <laughs> Worse, we're, we're technically renegade because we are a part of the law, but we also break it a lot. <laughs> That's a good song. It's a very good song. Sticks mm -hmm. did a fantastic job. Mm hmm. Okay. At um, this point, you hear I'm, an, I'm an audible voice saying, um, "Please proceed towards the exit." Mm -hmm. And it is a robotic voice. A yeah. Turn and leave. And what do the others do? Do they follow? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you guys were wanting to look around or just like mess with things or like. Rick maybe... would have opened the door for them if it wasn't already held open. Okay. So you guys make your way back down the main hall, and notably, with all the rooms that there are, you can imagine that this is where she also lives. Mm -hmm. um, there are other hallways that, you know, separate, and there's distinct doors that are locked, and she's probably gone to her own. Uh, personal orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you take any of the, uh, the food on the off? <laughs> you just leave? Okay, so you exit yeah. and the I'm doors just leaving, yeah. Sorry. close behind and um, you know, the elevator is there. You're you not doing it right. <laughs> Gosh, the barbarians leave and then you don't touch the food. That's wrong. Just one of them only person, the, yeah, the only person I was invited to take it is not taking it. If the security guard takes the food meant for the guest, that's really dicky. Also, <laughs> the takes this lady. The food, that's gonna stand out. <laughs> right. Thomason does doesn't eat. <laughs> um, you don't want to like take a chair and move it to the left just an inch so it's slightly off from the rest. I'm just kidding. Anyways. I mean, to be fair, this entire time, I don't think it's been said, but, like, uh, it's assumed anytime I don't t say where Seza is, he's on my shoulder. So, like, oh. there's just been a bird this entire time. Like, hi, how's it going? Oh, right. I, I, I the bird. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. It's your little, yeah. He's Anyways. my little boy. So, um, okay, so you leave and, and hit the only button on the elevator, it opens up, and you are able to exit down as a one-way out. Um, follow your way back. And I think, since this is normally where we stop and pause, we will take a break, if that's uh, cool with you guys. That's fine with me. What are we breaking? All, all of the boats. All of the bones. Oh! But, yeah. Uh, Thanks, I guess we'll I guess we'll, we'll be right back, bye, bye. guys. Bye boy. Hey, hey you.
with the ice. I think, I think they're coming back. I think they're coming back. <laughs> small child, small child. I don't know who the fuck that was. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Breaking Character, to the second half. Uh, we have encountered a uh, interesting, uh, interesting NPC and had some rather intense moments um, as they are leaving the building. Let's check in with Ramita, Nash, and Murdoch. Murdoch! As they're headed towards a uh, penitentiary prison. <laughs> To visit some family members! Good old family reunion! After getting their freshly, freshly adorned tattoos. And the best place to have a family reunion. A jail cell? Yes. What? Uh, yeah. So, gra Grandma, how long you been, have you been traveling with these guys? These seem, they seem pretty cool. Um... Only been like a week. Really? I think. Yeah. And now yeah. we're best buddies. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I basically adopted them all. That's not surprising considering how fast you damped a damping mom. Well, what was it? Just a couple of days? I mean, I. I, mean, I like, she like, came with. My beautiful wife. How could I not adopt her? Uh, uh yeah, bet. Mom, mom was like a very, uh, very uh, astute on the the uh, recollection of uh, the stories. Do I sound fancy? I'm learning some new words. Uh, yeah. Protect this fucking boy with our lives. Where you been? Where have you been, been like going to classes or? I know you're back in town. Like, well, you know, I mean, I've been learning a few things. I uh, was thinking about enrolling in the school, but uh, you know, Mama says that we gotta keep working with the family biz. So, but um, yeah, I was thinking it'd be fun. You know, learn some new stuff. I like. I like new information. Kind of like I like Kinda people. Like... If you ever decide that you want to, let it let me know, okay? Like I know you're thinking about it, but if you decide that you're gonna go through it, I can talk with your mom. Well, I mean that'd be great. I mean I don't need her permission. She'll she'll she's okay with me doing whatever, um, you know. But like. She wants me to stick with my strengths, and, you know, I, I kind of want to be well-rounded, well, well, well rounded, you know? Like, I want to learn some new stuff. And, and maybe, maybe get me a girlfriend while I'm in school. I heard that's the best place to get a partner. I'm telling you, Fen is single. Who? Fen, you know, the smarty type smarty that type. was in the, getting the tattoo with us. The fancy looking person! Guys, stream just cut audio. Give me a sec. What the fuck was that? One sec, guys. Apparently, my, um... Was that because my one thing went off? That's fucking stupid. Okay, cool. Thy name is Rep. Thy name brings now. death. 
and destruction wherever it goes. Okay. Yeah, Revens do tend to do that. Why did- oh my god, it's because it's a beta <laughs> thing. I am... It's such a beta move. Gosh. I don't like the way Tony has this set up. It's very weird. Call him out once we get audio again. Uh, you think they can hear you now. Hey, can you hear me now? People it is. No, yes. Okay. Play, awesome. Turn your volume up. Yeah, turn your volume, get turn hearing your volume all the way up. Like as far subtitles. as it'll go. No, don't all do right. subtitles. Just wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Oh, uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, see, that's another thing I need classes on. I need a sex ed class to find out what all the differences are and all the different peoples and things. Right? Can That's the sex ed class? Tell you? Well, I know, I know, I know about procreation. I know about that, and that's what I want to do. I'm sorry, how can you be my grandson and your mama didn't tell you about all that? Like, like... What? Well, what do you mean? Boy, everyone in our family is like, it shouldn't matter. It should have never mattered whether they're boy or girl, other than the fact that they need but certain wanna, parts too. But I want to do the hanky panky. Sweetheart, you can do the hanky panky if they're consenting and an adult and. You know. All right. Well, I guess I'll see. All right. I mean, I'm not trying to force this one. I'm just saying that if the person consents, then that can lead to the hanky panky. In other words, come correct or get. I would like to interject that why are we trying to ship Fen with this? No, no. <laughs> if the guy has a preference, this? Just I'm, I'm this agreeing. Has a name too. I, yeah, I'm I, not forcing I, it anymore. I, I'm just saying this. I can't believe I'm agreeing with Blade, but if the guy has a preference, you shouldn't force him to try to change that. If they <laughs> also <laughs> valid. If he, if he wants, as he put, a taco instead of a hot dog, which genital preferences <laughs> are fine. That said, we do not know how well Brent knows Fen to know. They have been but sharing a would, room. Yeah, uh, would, would fit a genital prep. Then you should have room Moving on. <laughs> yeah, Fen sleeps in clothes. In were we going to take a cab to the, the prison? <laughs> or were we going to walk there? Because it's going to take a while. Uh, we can hop in a cab. Don't we... Don't we still have the rental? Or Sorry. did they take that? I have the rental. They have the rental. Okay. The other yeah, we... crew took the rental, yeah. Okay, yeah. Then, um, yeah, we go, we can grab a cab. Yeah, it's a bit of a ways, isn't it? Yeah, come on, big fella. He wraps his arm around uh, Nash's shoulders and uh, puts an arm out. And then pretty soon a hover uh, taxi comes over and uh, opens up the back end for you. It's like a, a van, a semi-van. And the two sides open up, allowing room for you to go climb in. And they shut the doors, and uh, you guys head on over to the poli uh, to the the prison in the local area. And as you arrive, um, you are greeted by the guards. Fuck! Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Is all good? Yeah, uh, this guy just showed up with food. Oh. And dogs. I gotcha. Okay, they should be done. With the bark. Oh, with the borks. My very bork, cute Doordash is here. Aww. Bork, bork. 
So you get out and you enter the uh, the building, which basically looks very similar to the police office uh, that you were in uh, Warak. Um, only it's just the office with the entirety of the prison um, in behind it. And you go through and you are asked to surrender any weapons that you have. And, uh... You wouldn't take a cane from an old lady. <laughs> Show your shit, Gandalf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to roll a deception check. Deception for that one. Rev, I designate you my roller, because I don't have any with me. I don't know what your modifier is. Oh. I'll pull it up. I will pull it up. Um, I just have to go into my app. Not perception. Proficiency? Words. I'm doing a Brett. <laughs> yes. She has a proficiency. That's a six on the die. So, eight. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's what? Uh, uh, plus three to that, eleven. Hell yeah. Plus three? Oh, proficiency, yes. Okay, I gotcha. Um, guy looks at you. I'm gonna need that cane, ma'am. <laughs> okay. One sec, guys. Every two seconds, our audio is going out on stream. Yeah, no, give me a sec. Every time my no, every time my fucking uh, headphones flash. For some reason, something's going weird with my audio through Discord, so I'm having to reroute my audio through Discord. Not yet. Uh, but up, but up, but This seems like we're having much more difficulties than normal. <laughs> I am very mad at this. <laughs> Just everyone, everyone abandon it and go to Minecraft. It's fine. One sec, guys. One sec. Oh, I'm talking to chat. Chat can, uh, chat can still hear me. Yeah, chat can still hear me, though I'm talking to them currently, as well as y'all. It's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Okay, Full stack of iron, I am taking a break until one of you invite oh, me to join you loud. in your stream. That is very loud. <laughs> Sorry, I, um, me. No, it's because I had to reroute the audio through a different uh, output. Because apparently, a Minecraft break for a little bit. <laughs> the application audio capture is just absolutely throwing a fucking fit tonight. I'd like to point out that I mentioned Brett needs to stream Minecraft, and Bright says yes in chat. I think that she was saying it was getting interesting. She was agreeing with Blade. Hey, Emerald. She was agreeing with I think. Me. All right. I think they can hear you again. Can you hear? Hey, Emerald. Can you hear? Can you guys hear us? Yeah, they're hearing you. Yeah, they're hearing you. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Um. All right. I have it fixed. Cool. I'll carry you, Grandma. Okay. I won't say no to that. I can't keep up with you. Cool. He uh, picks you up and puts you on his shoulder. He's got these wide, big, Wait. behemoth shoulders, and it just kind of feels like a big old tree uh, branch. <laughs> okay. okay, just sitting. 
And, uh, Nash reluctantly gives over whatever weapons that are visible on him and uh, can be uh, seen through radar. X-ray, excuse me. <laughs> Not radar. <laughs> um, How big is your gun? <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys go in and pass through and get to the uh, visiting area where you guys get to sit down after giving um, the name of the individual that you uh, are wishing to see and visit. Um, there's uh, two chairs and Murdoch allows you to have one of the chairs, the grandma. Oh. And out comes an individual whom you have not seen in quite some time. Let me get their name real quick. Okay, thank but you. She's a... I don't... Yeah, no problem. Um... Read it. Read it. Oh, okay. that's not the screen that I had it on. Okay, sorry, give me just a second. Alright. Hello, rating party. Welcome Hi! Rating character. Welcome we for are... the raid. Thank you for the raid. That's awesome. Very happy for your entrance. Okay, yep. so. Once we're not coming to a break as you enter. <laughs> <laughs> um, out comes a very average height uh, individual. Sharpened jaw, wide cheekbones, wide forehead, and a darker complexion um, than most uh, people in the surrounding area. Um, this individual uh, has pauses just before coming up to the, the, the screen in front of you um, to get the handcuffs removed, and they are wearing a full teal covered um, uniform um, looks kind of like uh, one of those um, registered nurse kind of outfits but just one color no pockets, no buttons no zippers just full scrubs, uh, scrubs basically and their hair is, is pulled back into a um, ponytail uh, just to be out of the face, out of the eyes uh, black hair with um, piercing blue eyes. Um, this person uh, looks very like they were related to um, Ramita's wife rather than Ramita herself. Um, Mom, how you doing? Sandy looks up as she sits down. Oh, hi, Maddox. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Mom? I'm good. Thanks for coming to visit me. And she looks down at uh, Nash and Ramita, and her expression kind of dowers a bit. Mother? Didn't expect to see you here. Well, I didn't know you were here. I just ran into Murdy in town a little while ago and kind of caught me up. What what happened? Um, well, I have I guess you could say um received due punishment for um the things that I've done. I, um, being, I have been sentenced, um, for, uh, fraud. How, what were you up to? I thought we were clean. I thought everything was good. Uh, it's, it's a long story, um. But, um, 
Unfortunately, I, uh, I guess I should have seen this coming. It just, it's surprising to, for the, the way it happened, it was not what I expected. Um, so, and she'll go into discussion of, like, sh her career, she was in, uh, basically, um, medical insurance for decades. Um, started up as a registered nurse and then went up through, um, you know, drugs and prescriptions and then, um, medical insurance, uh, prescribing and whatnot. And she, um, forged a few, um, accounts. Uh, people who had deceased, she used their ID to help cover those who couldn't afford uh, medications for themselves. And she had done this for over 40 years. I'll have to look at my notes again, but I'm pretty sure that was the number I had. Um, being that she is half drow, she is well into her second century. Um, which would be... No, not... Yeah, because she's half drow. Still makes her younger than uh, Ramita as far as in comparison. Um, as her mother, your wife, was um, in the middle of her third century before she passed away. That would put um, this child about somewhere in her late 100s um, when she was adopted by you. But that was, yeah. um, still a good number of years that you spent raising her. So, I was definitely there. Somewhere. Yeah, you were, you were there for 140 of her years, um, but she was already 100 when that happened. Okay. Um. So it would be so, like adopting a 16-year-old? <laughs> My family did that. Good luck. <laughs> so, yes. What? I think he's making he was making a Bane joke. Oh, okay. But um yeah, so it would it was like the equivalent of adop adopting a 15, 16 year old, so she was barely close to being an adult already within their circle. But um yeah, so she's Technically older than you, but also not. Yeah. Okay. Well. Just anything I can do to help you now? I... I don't know. Um, I mean, the... The count that uh, was my doom... I just couldn't, unfortunately, attend the funeral if I, if I wanted to, but, um, I guess some closure would be nice. Um, I'd like to know why they died. Mm -hmm. Um, what happened was there was a, um, an elder who had a prescription for this drug um, that is usually used for um, it can be often used for sedation um, is often used for when we when um, people go undergo to get um, prosthetics cyborg parts and um, if it doesn't adhere uh, the patient has to take smaller doses um, occasionally throughout the rest of their life um, and at least, uh, at least until it, um, the cyborg part is finally, finally accepted, um, it's very rare that it doesn't happen, that it's not accepted with the current medical condition or, um, technologies that we have, but, um, this kid I helped, I want to say 12, 15 years ago, his name was Edward, he just couldn't take in the cybernetic parts that his his body needed. Um, 
it's a terrible childhood accident. Um, but, um, and his family just couldn't afford it. And, um, so I switched, switched the names and the accounts and, um, I'd been supplying him with the, um, with the drug. I think they call it Z's or something now, but, um, it was a Zimzine. And I had been supplying it for him for uh, over a decade. And um, I told him to keep in contact so that I knew um, when I needed to switch or change anything. And um, he just suddenly, suddenly died, I guess. And then when they found out the account was still being drawn upon, um, that's when they caught me. So you wanna, what? you wanna find out like what happened to the kid, like why? I'd like to know if he was a, um, you know, died happy or, you know, how his family's doing. Um, we were kind of close for a while until he um, disappeared. Die and like a silent prayer. Um, I'm sorry. Do you know the name? <laughs> well, <For anything. sighs> yeah. Just hoping it's name, not one of the kids. His name was Edward. Um, I believe the the family was local here. He had a sister. Oh yeah. shit. Her name was Nova, I think. I wouldn't... No, I knew Nova's name from... Um... Uh, Viper, so... I knew Nova... Would I know Edward? I believe you only know the first name. You'd have okay. to check your notes. That's your personal notes that you'd have to check. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't have my computer on. I thought I was like, going to. Um, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna look at him and be like, so, um, you know that Viper was dating Nova, right? Or was this the Nova that Viper was dating? Uh, are you asking the mom or are you asking DM? I'm asking mom. Okay. Uh, I, I unfortunately did not keep track of their uh, romantic escapades. Um, I just knew that um, the um, they were uh, stepbrother and sister. The daughter's mother married the father and um, after the childhood incident um, they unfortunately did not invite me to the wedding, but um, we still kept in touch. It wasn't an issue. I didn't need to know them, um, but his mother, his birth mother, was my friend. We, we went and took a couple of classes together when I was doing my um, master's, and um, so I knew uh, the original family um, when she died in the accident and they lost the baby. Um, father took it hard and well when he fell in love I was absolutely you know happy for him you know I missed my friend but uh, they got remarried and um, that's when Nova came into the picture and I, I stayed in contact as much as I could but uh, by then I had so many accounts to juggle I was um, afraid of getting sloppy and I did this one doesn't sound like it was on you. Things happen and you can't control it. And I, if it's who I think it might be, this wasn't an accident. Mm -hmm. There was um, a Nova Viper was attending a funeral and they were taken out by a bad group of people. No, Viper was taken out? No, no, no. The person Viper was dating, sorry. 
Oh. Wow. Well. Yeah. The, the um, there's a group that we're currently kind of going after, and really, they're horrible. The reason I'm hanging out with some new people, and it's they were taking children and turning them into soldiers. Oh, that's awful. But, um, it, Nova that I'm thinking about was Viper's ex-girlfriend, and she was killed for having cybernetic enhancements, as was her brother who was staying with her. Oh my. And it's... Yeah, I don't know much about it, I just know from Viper. Um, I'd have to ask my group, because one of them was actually attended the funeral the whole time. So I'm sure he knew him a little bit better. Which also got attacked. It's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that part out, though. <laughs> um, so... If they're attacking people with parts, um... That's, that's an issue. Yeah, that's why we're looking into it. Um, that's why I'm in town here right now, actually. I was with that group, and they had to go get a meeting. And... Or communicate with someone. Supposed to help us out with this whole thing. We're just following trail, trail crumbs. Just one little thing to the next. Every time we think we have it solved, it's just an empty room. It's been I... terrible. That can be frustrating. Um, I wish I could help. Um, fortunately, I'm I'm no longer able to do any of that. Um, when I get out, I will not be able to do anything with medicine, unfortunately. Sweetie, you have done more than enough. I'm sure every one of those family members is grateful for you. I so. understand. Yeah, I just... Um, well, unfortunately, um, it it required doing something illegal, and I I let my heart do more of the talking than um, my brain, and that's why I think Murdoch, you shouldn't really get into um, schooling. I I love that you want to be educated, and that's fine, um, but your heart is so big. I, I don't want you to end up and do the same thing that your mom did. Oh, but mom, I I like I like information. I like education, and, and what you did was noble. I like um, like I I like hitting people, but you know, I feel like uh, what you did was great, and it's it's fine, Murdoch. Just do what you want, but you know, be careful and and. Work on your strengths. Do what you are good at. Well, okay. I have a question, and uh -huh. I did not catch. What's this? What's this? What's her name? Sandy. Sandy, thank you. Um, what am I doing? I got distracted by dogs barking. Oh, they this way. <laughs> um. um. Sandy was just saying that she wanted Murdoch to stick with, um, you know, what he's good at, which is strength-based things, um, and not get too far into the intellectual uh, fields. Um, yeah, I'm gonna interject a little bit and be like, you know, that's what makes you, like, that's what made you strong, is that I agree, stick with your strengths, but you guys, you have your mother's heart, you know? Like, you couldn't, it's the same reason she adopted everyone around her. Every one of, like, the kids we did, you know? It's big hearts, and people that have big hearts, I believe, should be in the position to help others. Because the more people that are gonna be helping others out there with brains and big hearts, the better the more the world's actually going to change and get better. Uh, really, that's the way I'm seeing it. I get it, Mom. I get it. But, And this is probably the one of the few times she's ever actually called you Mom. 
I can't do anything while I'm here, and I also can't do anything when I get out. I will have to change fields, and um, it's as for as many people as I helped. Um, I won't be able to help anyone else after this. Um, you know, I'm 260. I'm when I get out, which unfortunately they gave me um, the drow sentence rather than the uh, human sentence, and um, I will be an old lady when I finally get out, and I will only have time for my children and uh, if they are still around. And unfortunately, I. Love you, Madoc, but, um... Yeah, I know. I only got, like, maybe an 80 or 89 life expectancy, but... It's fine. That's fine. I'll still be here. I'll be still... I'll still be here when you get out. <laughs> Looks at you, and kind of her face softens. Take care of him. I... I was gone for a while. I lost myself when your mom died. Um, but you guys have always been the reason I tried so hard, that I worked so hard. I wanted to make sure you all were safe. I'm going to continue to be safe, so I seem to have failed that on your part. But I got too smart for myself. That's just how it is. I made my own decisions. I am an adult. I can't protect everyone, and that's your failing. Yeah, I do try, but I don't think that's a bad thing to have. No. And I think if you have the ability to help, you should. And you did what was right. So, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna talk with some people. I took on your habits and I stretched myself too thin. You've... You take on more than you can handle. And that's... You can't... You can love everyone, uh, but you can't protect everyone. You don't have to protect them, but just showing some kindness is more than... is enough in most cases. And she kind of gives a half smile of she knows she's not going to win this conversation. Um, yep. <laughs> Back and forth, Granny's <laughs> right? just going to keep going. Don't be down mm. on yourself, girl. Baby girl, you did okay. And she nods <laughs> her head, and then the officer comes up behind her and says, taps her on the shoulder and says, it's time. She nods her head, she says, Murdoch, you listen to Grandma. You can help you out. I can't help you anymore. Um, but please come visit. I love you. I love you, I love you too, Mom. Kind of looks Adam, down at the tor floor. Your head up. Don't put that down. I'm proud of you. Proud she of nods. you, and we're all we all are. She nods at you and looks a little somber. She stands up and turns around and officer puts the handcuffs back on her and she walks down the aisle down the hall with other uh, inmates as they do their exchange people who have time who people whose time has run out are walking out and the families are leaving Miranda kind of goes over grabs her hand to pick you up again puts you on his shoulder you can see a little tear running down the side of his face I really am proud of her, you know? Oh, I, I don't know. know that was going on. And I do believe, follow your heart. Oh, there know. aren't many people like us in this world that will lay down anything and to help others. And I don't think that's a bad habit to have. I think we should. Nash, as he gets up, he nods his head, you know? You're right. There should be more like us. We are one of a kind. <laughs> and Murdoch puts his other free arm around Nash, and three of you kind of 
walk hand in hand, exit the uh, building on your way out. And I think we're gonna yeah. stop there. We're gonna end it for tonight, and we will hopefully catch up next week and see where we uh, end up with our uh, the Lucy Goose of a group. Um, let's do our outros. Let's hopefully get through these before any more technical difficulties. And we'll start with the PNGers, uh, Rev. If Rev is Rev, available. Buddy. Rev, you're Sorry, muted. I, I hit my unmute button. My headset didn't listen to me. Um, <laughs> I'm saying, Rev, you can find me in all the places that you can find me, and occasionally in some places that you cannot find me, like on our OnlyFans. He's the most prevalent one on the OnlyFans, though. He's the only well, one. Because I have the best <laughs> uh, And then I'm going to throw it to Nash. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, we'll be here next, uh, not next week, but the week after, after he's re re returned from his little work thing. Um, hopefully. We miss you, buddy. We miss you, buddy. Why did he have to leave us? And after we're that, in, we'll we're in such with... capable hands right now. <laughs> it's all fine. Send help. See, Send help. <laughs> <laughs> darkness, how about you go next? I am Darkness, and I still haven't set anything up because I keep getting distracted by life and now Valid. Tears of the Kingdoms, so... See, you could stream that! No. That is true. Well, she would have to set up a capture device because she isn't on the Switch. Oh, mm. well, shit. Yes. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, they have multiple, ah. multiple games and multiple things. Are you judging me? No, yeah. just saying you have a lot of different stuff. That no, I we don't. have Minecraft. You can you can literally stream Minecraft. We have a server. We have a server. This is true. We have a server. <laughs> yes, we do. Because we're awesome. Hot dog. Yeah, I just haven't done anything yet. It's that fine. Getting started is a difficult. And then uh, let go to. Hello, my name is Brett, or just Brett here on Twitch and most other places. Um, I stream every day of the week, um, except for Sundays. So if you want to come by and see me play a multitude of different games, from classic games to Minecraft to relaxing games, or even sometimes horror games, come say hi. I'm always appreciative to have new fans, new friends, and people to chat with. I just noticed your name is spelled wrong. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> oh. Well, that's because oh, my. The at? <laughs> so the, yeah. the the reason is is because like my father, Tony's like you can't be greedy with your T's, Brett. So he just put it as the one. It would have and made said, his oh. his, vid his uh, thing entirely Maybe too small. Underneath your yeah, underneath your name, the Boston, it says just Brett with one T, even yeah. though your Twitch says Brett with three T's. Three T's. That is that is my bad, and that has always been there though. It has. So that's why Brett has the smallest channel out of all of us. Oh god. Anyways. Sits here uh, lonely lonely and not being able to be subscribed to. I, uh cool. Cool 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 cool. cool. <laughs> um last but not least, um we're going to hop over to our DM so that way Blood can finish us out. Wait, what? Gears are next. Hot potato. <laughs> Holy Damn. <laughs> Okay, well, I am Gear Sparks. Uh, I spark with all the gears that turn the way they turn. Um, and now they're TikTok. a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, I love dragons. Um, you can find me on Twitch. Um, I do have a Twitter account, though it probably will be deleted. I don't. Mm. Um, TikTok. I am uh, going to be starting a breaking character uh, TikTok account. We're going to do a lot of the funny shorts that uh, we love to see on there so you know look out for that um hopefully we get some some more fans uh we love our current only fans only fans and the the, the that only... doesn't count <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> and uh, uh yeah so i think that's it oh i also have i have a, t 
uh, YouTube and a Patreon if you guys are interested in the other st other things that I'm doing. And I have a fun thing that I might be That's introducing in a week. Huh? Does not uh, that was a <laughs> it does not count. That's mine. Yeah. That does... <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. So, let's have B -B Bloodlust finish this out. H Hi, guys. Blood. I'm Bloodless King. I should be able to stream more often re uh, now since I have hired people at my work. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I will finally Ooh. be able to have my actual days off. <laughs> that you was don't get it. Oh, it was it's fucking insane. Anyway, uh, I am a VTuber here on Twitch, usually. Um, and. You can potentially see me on TikTok, and I do have a YouTube under the same username. I have nothing on there yet. Give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that, um, eh, eh, eh. Um, yeah. but yeah. Other than that, I guess I guess we done for tonight. We gonna leave you for a hot second. We'll see you. We'll see you Wednesday, though. Same time. We shall not see you. You shall see us. Yeah. Well, I see their usernames. We see their usernames. <laughs> so keep talking to us. Otherwise, we don't know you're there. Yes, please yeah. keep talking to us. <laughs> Alright, guys. Night. Bye. Good night.